Hi everybody and welcome to a very, very special unboxing today. I've been waiting roughly about eight months to do this video. I've been waiting all that time for this item to arrive after hearing about it through a crowdfunding campaign. And when I heard about this crowdfunding campaign, I immediately put money to it. Um, very, very excited for it. And like I've just said, I've been waiting eight months to eventually take delivery of this item. So without further ado, let's crack this open. Same format as usual. Take my trusty knife. Yeah, I've been waiting a, quite a while for this item to arrive. So it just literally come about an hour ago. So let's have a look. Here we go. This is the bad boy. Let's just empty this out. There we go. The Sinclair ZX Spectrum Vega. Very, very much looking forward to um, checking this out and seeing what it's like. Apparently it's got 1,000 games built in. So if I bring it a little bit closer to the screen, I'll just try and adjust my focus. So it's got 1,000 preloaded classic games. You can apparently download more games. They're going to, um, I think they're in the process of um, developing a site, so you can just hook up to that site and download more games through there. So I don't think there's anything. So this is the limited edition, second production run. I think the first production run came out one week ago yesterday. So and let's turn this around just again. 1,000 preloaded classic games. And try and get my bearings right with the box. And it just basically gives you a quick diagram on the back just to quickly set up your Vega. So it says how to set up your ZX Spectrum Vega games console. Pack includes ZX Spectrum Vega game console, leads for connection to your TV and USB power supply, full instructions and 1,000 classic games. So your own TV lead and plugs for TV connection, your own USB power supply or TV USB out, full easy to follow instructions and online support, and the ZX Spectrum Vega games console with 1000 preloaded classic games. And also it looks like you get your own micro SD card as well, if I read that right. So uh, let's open this box up and we will check it out. So here we go. So obviously there's your little set expression Vega user instructions manual there. So setting up your Vega, getting to know your Vega, choosing a game to play, playing a game, Vega in game functions, loading additional games, upgrading the Vega software, the role of honor. I am I am actually on the role of honor as well. I think there's a thousand names on the role of honor. So I am on there, so I'm really pleased about that. And then you've got your safety and your troubleshooting guide. So I don't think there's going to be anything major here. So it looks like it's all the basic cable connections. So we can just have a let's just drop. Let's just drop this lid so we can have a spare with us one second. So in fact, we'll just move that out of the way. It's a little bit more sense. Flick through this. Again, the role of honor. Our role of honor recognizes the contributions of those who supported the development and launch of the Vega by making a pledge to our India Go Go crowdfunding campaign. The role of honor also recognizes support of all these games rights owners who granted permission for their Sinclair Z expansion games to be incorporated in the Vega. The role of honor is accessed by following the on screen prompt after reset to press button two. So, yeah. Okay, anyway, that's just the uh, games manual there. Now let's take a look at the system. So it's very, very tiny. Let's bring this back into shot. So yeah, it's very, very tiny. Let's grab all of the cable. And there it is. That's the, the bad boy itself. So it's not very big, actually. I'll just go and grab a tape measure. Just bear with me one second. I'll literally be a couple of seconds. So here we go. So we're looking across, you're looking about five and a half inches. 
and four inches and the actual depth of it is not really that much at all just for purposes so you're looking roughly about probably just under an inch yeah it's just about under an inch so it's not very big at all so you've got your f button one s select button and number two and it actually feels quite tactile it feels pretty decent actually it's uh, nice and tiny i didn't think it was going to be this small a b c d buttons on the bottom i will have a closer look at the user manual and see what i need to do i'll get it hooked up as well and then hopefully very shortly i will get it hooked up to my tv and um, turn it on and see what it's like so i will catch you very very shortly right just before i move on to the next part of the video of actually hooking up to my tv and turning the vega on and checking out all the games uh, that are run it um, just a quick comparison <laughs> bit of a treat perhaps for some people but I do actually have the original Sinclair ZX Spectrum plus three they did a plus two version and a plus three and they also did the 48k version as well so just for a size comparison there we go there is a huge huge difference a huge huge difference in the size so I haven't got a 48k Spectrum to um, compare it with but I just thought I'd show this in a video anyway just so you could have a quick Gander for a comparison against what it was like against the uh, its daddy. So um, yeah, I'll leave that there, and I will, like I say, crack on to the next part of the video, and I'll get it all hooked up. I'll have a quick read of it, see what it's like, and uh, hook it up to my TV, turn it on, and um, we'll see if we can get some video footage of the list of games that are already on there. So I'll catch you very, very shortly. Right, before we get around to turning the Vega on, please let me apologise for the quality of the video as it stands. I haven't got a recording device that will allow me to direct and record from the Vega due to the Vega's composite leads. Um, so I'm having to record directly from a telly by using my camera. But we'll crack on anyway, so we'll turn the Vega on now. There we go. And if you press 2 to view the role of honour, this is the role of honour there. So there should be, I think, a thousand, is it a thousand people on this list. So very easy to find your name if you're on there. Just scroll by using the left and right on the D-pad. So it's all in alphabetical order. And you can press the A button to view the game rights holders and the C button to launch a game menu. So if you press the C button, and then you've got, let's press the A button there, adventure games and arcade games. Okay, so we'll have a look at the adventure games first. I'm not going to sc scroll through them all. I'm just going to quickly flick through the few on screen, but do it alphabetically. So if we keep going to the right hand side and we'll go all the way through to the very end. quickly whisk through them and if we go to the arcade games and then we will go and have a look and try to play one of them. Let's see what we can find. Ah, Sabre Wolf. That's uh, an old classic. So if you press 5 button. And OK. Press A button to start a game. And C to cancel. So we'll start the game. And hopefully we'll see what we get. So let's press the 5 button again. Right, OK. Press the select button. So away we go. Oh, I don't know what happened there. Oh, I got caught again. Yeah, I'm going to absolutely suck at this for the time being. It's going to take a lot of practice. Oh, and I got done again. Right, this is not a good start. So I'll keep him going until I die. Right, do I really want to disturb that? <laughs> anyway, yeah. Save more for um, wow, adventure completed 1% before I completely at the 100% died. So we'll come out of this game. 
and then that's going to take a lot of practice and we will go and have another look at one more so it's just a question of what let's have a look see if daily thompson super test is on here no it's not which is a shame unless it's under s I'm also just seeing if there's any other games on this list that I might want to play as well. So just bear with us. So it's not on there. Let's have a look at Super Sports. No left, right. right and select. OK. Push a button to start game. OK. Stop the tape. <laughs> yeah, nice. Okay, let's move this along. Wow, this is rolling back the years. How many players to participate? So I think we've got to bring up the menu system, bring up the keyboard, digits, and we'll select one. Name, so letters H E. I'll keep it short. And enter. I'll get rid of that again. All the events. And we'll go. Bring up the menu again, the keyboard again. We will go no. So first one to five to highlight the events to practice. Put you up there, double dive, so smash crossbow. Which one we'll go number we'll try number four. There we go. And then enter that. Press play on the tape. Well we haven't got a tape because it's like 2015, so Right, let's see what we've got to do here. 90 seconds to shoot off six bolts as accurately as possible, allowing for wind. Wow, okay. Let's see what we can do. Yep, there's your 8 bit sound. Press fire when you are ready. Okay, let's do this. I've not got a clue what I'm doing. <laughs> I've not got a clue what I am doing at all. I'm pressing all sorts of buttons. Right, yeah, I'm going to come out that I have not got a clue what I'm doing, unless, options, let's help, let's get to help, yeah, all down left, right, fire is the F button, S is a select button, I press every single one of them. Yep, so I think we will come back to that at some point in the future. We'll just uh, leave this game for the time in. I'm going to try and find out how to play them first. It's going to take a bit of getting my head around some of them, I think. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So there's a thousand games, like I say, built into it. So it's going to be uh, some serious gaming time there for anybody that likes these old retro games. But um, apart from that as well, it's going to be a lot, a lot of fun. So uh, I'm going to move on. I'm going to have one more look at the Vega itself and I'll catch you very shortly. 
So anyway, as promised, welcome to the final part of my video of taking a look at the Sinclair Vega. So this is basically what you attach into your TV, the composite cable. So that's why I couldn't record directly onto a proper device and I had to use my camera to record directly on from my tally. And obviously that's the power. Um, I used um, my phone charger plug, so I plugged that straight into the plug of my phone charger. And that's applied to power, but I think you can also just plug it into if you've got like a smart TV, plug it into a USB uh, connector on the smart TV, and hopefully it'll, it'll be able to give the the Vega enough power to to be able to turn it on. And then if we take another look at this again, so obviously that's the top, and then underneath where I had a look earlier, just in that slot there is where you put your your memory card. So obviously, I mean, you have to buy that separately. Um, but when you do buy it separately, to, it, it will allow you to actually download more games and play more games through the Vega as and when they are released. So hopefully that won't be too far around the corner for that to happen. So yeah, there we go. That's um, my little pride and joy just there. And I'm, I'm really, really pleased I've actually got it in my hands right now. So I'm going to have a lot of fun with that. So um, I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, until next time, take care. And again, thanks for watching.